YouTube now allows nine by 16 or vertical streaming and viewers can go full screen improving the experience. Yeah, portrait mode. Instagram is rolling out RTMP live streaming from external platforms, opening up a world of opportunity for high quality streams. But you know, IG is only vertical, right? Is that right? <laughs> vertical video fam is here to stay. Ecamm Live and Restream Studio both have options to allow you to record and stream in this new format, allowing for use of our full studio setups vertically. Interesting. Kirk Nugent here, your live video coach. And on this channel, I give you the step-by-step -step guides and practical tutorials for the do-it-yourself video creator that learns visually. And today we're looking at native vertical streaming and recording from Ecamm and Restream. So here we are on my desktop looking at Ecamm. All of the windows that are associated with Ecamm, there are many, <laughs> but you're gonna see two where you'll see me and you can follow along with what you're seeing in those. One of them is red, that's his program. It's in the bottom right corner. And the other has a yellow one on there. This is preview. That's where we're gonna make our changes. I'm gonna show you a couple of things there. That's in the top right corner. So let's dive in. The first thing we need to do, of course, is change our canvas, change our program window, the window that everyone sees when you're streaming this window. We want to change that to nine by 16. Right now it's 16 by nine. And the way we do that is by going into the preferences um, on your screen here. You'll see preferences and uh, we'll click on that. And once that comes up, you'll see some of the things that are here, general account stream, but stream is the one you're going to want to go to. We go to the stream tab in preferences and we're looking for stream shape, not so much stream size, stream shape. So we want to change stream shape from, like I said, 16 by nine to tall, which is nine by 16. So we select that and immediately you'll see both the program and preview have changed to the tall format. And this would be the format that would work on your phone, would work for YouTube, would work on TikTok, would also work on Instagram. So that already is set. And all you could, you would have to do here is maybe put some overlays, you can add comments, different things to make this part work. But I do wanna show you one or two other options that you have within Ecamm for vertical streaming. Simply go back to your screen here, all right? Now we wanna go and select your source. So up here in the top, you see where it says source. We wanna select that and go to blank. That allows you to have a blank canvas and you can go over here to your overlays window and simply select this icon that says new camera overlay, new camera overlay. We select that and we can make that, we can take that to the size of our canvas. You can see where that uh, goes away there. So we can see what we're, what we're designing um, based on that square that it gives us. And so now I have one video right up at the top. Uh, let's say I want to have another video um, of myself. I can simply um, option drag this one and make that uh, flush there and then simply select a different camera. I'm gonna select my background shot and boom, now we have two cameras and a, both are vertical uh, for our vertical stream. And maybe say you wanna add a, a video. I do this on Amazon a lot. I could see definitely using this, utilizing this um, in this format. And I'm simply dragging my video into the overlay screen. I'm gonna select add animated. Then I'm just gonna size it to where it needs to be. So you can see what that, how that fits and what that looks like. We wanna make sure that that's right on there. And then we can just select select to loop that guy. And that is now in the stream as well. Uh, another thing that we can do is you can see here backgrounds. I can show a background. So now I've got a background um, behind us. And that background actually is good to help you kind of design a little bit in terms of what that vertical experience looks like. So you can see we still have a little bit of space to play with um, on all the different sides of those videos, of those two cameras and the video that we're playing. But this is vertical streaming in Ecamm. Let's take a look at vertical streaming in Restream. So here we are in the Restream studio and I've got everything on screen here, but this is 16 by nine widescreen. So we wanna change this to nine by 16 for vertical streaming. 
And the way to do that is right here in right below the program window, you can see portrait and landscape orientations. I'm going to zoom in on those. You can see it says landscape orientation there and it says portrait orientation. You can see one looks like a regular screen. The other looks like a phone. We click portrait orientation and immediately you can see that the canvas changes. Now we have my camera on screen um, uh, in that vertical format and it will stream like this to your destinations, whether you have YouTube set up, Instagram, whatever, all of those will take this a vertical format and allow you to stream in that way. Not as many features to be able to really configure this as we did with, Re with Ecamm, but still very robust in that it does bring you down to that format natively. And you have that feature right here within the studio. Kudos to you, Restream, for setting that up. Maybe I want to add in another camera like I did before. I'm going to add my back camera. I can come here, go to extra camera, um, add this extra camera right here, HD USB camera. Let's just add that in. And now that adds it to the side, so it's available to me as an option, and I simply toggle this switch on and now I've got two, my two cameras here. If I want to move one up or down, I can do that. And you can imagine using this with guests and bringing guests into your live stream as you're streaming to these platforms vertically, all right? So somebody can be watching you on their mobile phone. And you have different formats to be able to kind of take up the whole space um, or kind of shift things around a little bit, just depending on what things, it ha how things are set up and what you're doing in your live show. Maybe you want to have picture in picture. You want to be able to set things up like that as well. And again, you have other ways of, of, of configuring these. So you still can utilize all of these uh, layouts on the bottom here um, in the vertical format. So let's keep it, we'll put it back to the, the same one we had before. And now let's add in a video. The same video that we added before in, in Ecamm, I'm going to add that here. I'm going to take the loop option, select that loop option, then add that into the show. Now that video is there and we can move things around just like we would before. And again, if we put this up at the top, that one takes precedence and we can actually shift this. So where the bottom two are smaller, but the top one is a little bit larger. And again, just taking up that vertical format. Uh, if we go back to the picture in picture, you can see the first person and then the video itself. It is a bit squeezed in, but you, you, you kind of have to know that that's how it's going to be for vertical. So we have this here, we have this, we have these options. We do also have the options under graphics to make, uh, to add in uh, a video background. So I'm going to add in a video background. You can see how that looks on screen as well. Pretty cool what we have here in Restream to be able to set this up. And again, I have my video playing and I, I can, I can move things around. I have those options, that flexibility with vertical streaming here in Restream. Last thing that I want to share is you can also put the chat overlay at the bottom of the screen so new comments will show here. But the other reason why I like this, especially for Instagram, is that that section is left so that the Instagram comments will show there as well. So pretty cool what we can do here in Restream. But vertical video is a feature that you should be seeing from all streaming platforms pretty soon. You may have a subscription to Restream or Ecamm, or maybe you don't. Here are some bonus points for everyone. Stay up to date on all the features coming out from your streaming platform of choice and make a habit of seeing what rival platforms are doing in case they drop a feature you feel you need. Lastly, be sure to engage in the streaming community so you can provide feedback on critical suggestions so your streaming platform doesn't get left behind. Vertical video is here to stay. Now, how are you going to take advantage of it? Let me know in the comments below. Learn more video tips, tricks, and best practices from these videos.